What's up everybody, Red Thorn here, bringing you your second monthly Aiden Castle... That sounded like crap. Second monthly? Like second annual? That doesn't sound good at all. I'll figure it out. Let's go! Alright, so let's go ahead and jump on into this. You are going to be pleasantly surprised as I was. Every box is filled. That means, well, it doesn't mean that there's a battle. Unfortunately, not every row is filled, but every box is filled this time around, which is fantastic. Let me go ahead and congratulate Ass Slappers, Antimatter, Transcendence, Potatoes to making it to the second round by default. They are not fighting anybody, so they will be there in the second round. Korea. From Lamel, keep it classy. From Lancer, we're gonna have to call Korea on that one. Here's the one I think most people would love to see. Ataraxi and Oblivion, both part of the Pardo Alliance FSK, part of Fire and Ice. FSK has gone up, look at them, 620 million, that is crazy. But if Oblivion and Ataraxi, who are, by the way, not allied with each other, so unlike Oblivion and Redemption last month, where they completely shut down FSK, FSK basically has one heck of a chance to make it to the second round. Uh, and, and that also means Korea versus FSK versus Ass Slappers versus somebody from Lancer. I mean, it looks like uh, looks like FSK has a pretty good shot at making it to the third round. We'll find out what happens at the end of this video, but that is not the video that I will be, or the fight that I will be recording. Moving down to the second row. The main event in Tiny Herb, both part of the Pardo Alliance, Royal Club, Fire and Ice. The main event in Tiny Herb are actually allied with each other, so it'll make it a little bit a little bit easier, quote unquote, to work together to try to defeat Royal Club. Uh, I won't be recording that one either. Valhalla, they are independent. They're gonna win against that Lancer clan, unfortunately. Chuchuros, 191 versus 374. I mean, that's before mercenaries, but I, even Chuchuros can't get enough uh, mercenaries to, to equal Valhalla. Valhalla's raw score. So, we'll call Valhalla on that one. And that'll be a Transcendence and Potatoes, likely versus Valhalla and potentially Royal Club. That'll be interesting for the second round. Moving down to here to the third row. You've got Ashura and Blacklisted. Blacklisted from Lancer. I'm going to call Blacklisted. That's right. I think Blacklisted will be one of the first, if not the first, Lancer clan making it to the second round over Lamel. And then we have Athena and Dynasty. That's, that's going to be a decent fight. That's definitely a one-on-one. -on -one. Athena, part of Pardo, Dynasty, Fire and Ice. We're going to call Dynasty on that one, but it, that one should definitely be interesting. And then we have this third block here, Fira and Impact, part of Fire and Ice, Golden Lions, part of Pardo. Uh, Impact made it to the third round last month. I don't know if Fira is going to... I, I don't know. We'll see at the end. But the one I will be doing here, the very last one I'm going to talk about, Requiem versus... Prime Requiem, wow, they have jumped up. They were down by 9 million or more. Now they are up a lot. And that, well, you know what this is? This is a one versus one, server versus server. And that is the reason why I am doing this particular battle, Requiem. They're part of Legion. And I think they're the only one from Legion in, in all this insanity. So... They are definitely probably throwing everybody that they could into Requiem in order to win this. And that's the one we will be doing. Oh, can we actually spectate now before it wasn't even uh, available? Now we're over five minutes and it says that we can go in. Let's see if we can actually head into the battlefield. We cannot. All right. So we're still at the... Well, we'll wait ten seconds to see if we can go in at the five minute mark. If not, then I guess they didn't fix it. And we're going to have to wait until like the 15 or 12 second mark or some crazy thing. Here's the five minute mark. Still not able to go in. I will see you as soon as I can go in. And that's in about five minutes. But it'll be less than a half a second for you all. I'll see you then. Ten seconds before we begin. Good luck to Requiem. Five seconds before we begin. And good luck to Prime. And here we go. Aiden, Castle, Clan War, number two, round one. 
I'm going to head here to the middle. There is Prime. They have already made it into the middle to start getting points. Okay, we, we know. Maintenance will begin. Great. I mean, this is it. This is 10 minutes of just absolutely kicking the crap out of each other. It's fantastic. I've got Requiem winning right now. By a lot. Yeah, it doesn't shock me that that Legion, having only one clan in this battle, has decided to just probably dump everything into them. 228 and counting. I'm pretty much going to say that Requiem has won this battle. I was really hoping this would be a lot better, but it doesn't look like it's going to be that way. I can't believe how much... How much combat power Requiem jumped up in the last couple of hours. Again, not shocked though. So Lancer potentially had two clans making it to the second round. Now it looks like they're only going to have one. <laughs> Shout out to Cool Story, bro. Cool spelled with a K. Looks like Prime is trying to come in from different areas and just unable to get anything going on. What is he doing? Just standing around. There he is again. Requiem is absolutely destroying Prime right now. Seven minutes remaining in this battle. Requiem at 715 points versus Prime's 167. Unfortunately, Lamel and Lancer are going to be merging with each other into uh, one server whose name is unknown at this time. And it, no offense to Lancer, but m with the exception of maybe one or two, they don't really look like they're going to offer much in the way of competition for everyone on on Lamel, so you might see a lot of merging going on whenever this merge actually happens. And of course at that time all any and all remaining European servers will be merged into one European server. This was supposed to have taken place in August. Here we are almost we're approaching the end of September. So who knows when this is actually going to happen. And then sometime next year, the European server and the Americas server will merge into a world server. The world server minus the Asians. <laughs> so not much of a world, like half world maybe. Ends in Five minutes remaining in this battle. Requiem absolutely destroying Prime. 1100 and counting points versus 341 and slowly counting points for Prime. I think Requiem caught uh, Prime with her pants down. I mean, I really do. I think Prime saw that they were they were up and thought they had some kind of advantage and then boom, Requiem came back and just absolutely dumped everything that they could into their clan. We got four minutes remaining in this battle. It is pretty much a done deal. Prime is still trying though. <laughs> this guy's all by himself. I guess he's just trying to get uh, trying to get points. But he's only a squire. Here's their leader. Running around like crazy. I can't keep up with that. Kyoshiro, leader of Prime. Oh, which I'm seeing a lot of blue in the middle now. Is Prime trying to mount some kind of a comeback? Because that's what it looks like they're doing right now. They have taken the middle after seven minutes. But will it be enough? They're going to have to kill an awful lot of Requiem. They, they're not going to get any points just standing around. But it looks like Requiem has already gotten the middle back. So that was a brief shining moment for Prime there. 
Two minutes remaining in this battle. I think Requiem has this in hand. No doubt. Prime mount mounted one heck of a comeback, but uh, short-lived. Extremely short-lived. Just... I think they've... I mean, they're just getting stopped here. But Prime wasn't here last month. So they're not experienced. I don't think Requiem was either. But we have... 60 seconds remaining in this battle. 1948 points by Requiem. 742 Prime. 30 seconds remaining in this battle. We know who won this. 10 seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. And congratulations! We'll skip that. To Requiem! For successfully defeating Prime of Lancer. Here are... Oh, look, we got numbers now. What's up? So congratulations to Kyo, Kyo Shiro for taking number one in Menina-san. That doesn't make any sense. Ten kills and two deaths. Oh, but they got 490 points. Wow, here are your stats. Yeah, okay. We are back to quantifying and qualitative and, and all those Q words that I don't know. Wow, they only had 37 people. That's, and they had 43. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there are your stats. And here are your winners. Korea, Oblivion. Oh, FSK lost. They lost. Oh, outstanding. Ass slappers. Antimatter. Uh, of course, we knew ass slappers and antimatter. They were uh, by themselves. Royal Club won theirs. Valhalla won theirs versus another Lancer. Blacklisted. So congratulations to Blacklisted for making it to the second round. Requiem Dynasty Fira. That's... Wow. Okay. So there you go. That is for round two on Thursday. And you know what to do with the liking, subscribing, and sharing. And you know what my social media stuff is. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again.